Take two kasi nagkamali yung mga tao kanina. <laughs> okay. Rolling. And we're patched with another episode of Patch Notes with Burger King, powered by the fastest mobile network in the Philippines. Smart quick shout out as well to Black Box, Studio Rather World, and Art Smith Studios for being with us since day number one. So, we talked about the roster rumors, the roster possibilities for S13 in MPL Philippines. Let's give you guys a quick recap on what went on in MPL Indonesia. Kasi marami rin ganap doon. Ah, feel ko maubusan na atay ng mga players dito. But that's not gonna happen. That's another topic entirely. So, let's kick started off with this. Uh, yesterday, it was announced that, well, as I was shooting, yesterday lang in announced na i-release na ng Geek Fam Indonesia yung kanilang jungler Niall. So the biggest question for all the Geek Fam or the yeah, the Geek Fam fans out there is sino nga ba yung magiging jungler? And the rumors are is Hades is going to be back to Geek Fam Indonesia. And just to give you guys an idea as well, he's been he was in Team Flash of Singapore last season. So naging jungler siya, naging champion nga sila. So yun nga yung sinasabi. No? Hindi ko alam kung what was the talks behind the scenes like did was it a loan to Team Flash or did he, did he officially sign with Team Flash because I don't know what's going on but um yeah, if ever the Hades does decide to go back to Geek Fam, I think it's going to be interesting kasi naging maganda yung kanilang performance in the past few seasons when they actually had Hades as a jungler. So that was I think season 11, season 12 ng MPL ID. So kung bumalik man siya, naging factor to kasi sabi nga daw nila, sabi lang nila, okay, I heard it from someone, not yet confirmed. So abangan niyo na lang yung announcement ng Geek Fam Indonesia. I think it'll begin it's going to be happening sometime either this week, next week as we're shooting this. So um they said that Baloy is no longer going to be playing, but he's going to be at, as the head coach ng Geek Fam ID. So I'm not so sure how true that is, but it's only rumors that I've heard. And I think it really fits. Kasi ang dami nga nagsasabi before yung naglaro sila sa M5 in the wild card that malaki asset si Baloy sa Geek Fam ID. Kasi hindi, siya nga yung nagda-draft eh. Actually, parang yung coach daw nila, wala na daw masyadong like, ginagawa. Kasi alam na ni Baloy kung anong gagawin. Not that I'm saying their coach is useless, but I'm just saying that Baloy just has a lot of expertise, a lot of knowledge in his in a skip. So, ang dami niyang na itutulong sa kanyang coach and uh, there are times daw na si Baloy na daw yung nagda-draft for Geek Fam. So, hindi malaya yung possibility na siya nga yung magiging coach for next season. So, hindi ko rin alam kung sino yung magiging rumor nila or they're gonna get someone new, an import perhaps, pero it's possible since if si Baloy yung coach, that means there's still one more slot for either a Pinoy import in Geek Fam ID. So, apart from Geek Fam ID, we also have another team that um, a lot of teams have been um, talking about as well, or a lot of fans have been talking about is Evos. Na released na to last two weeks ago that um, they announced that Super Red is gonna be in their roster for next season. And uh, na announced ng RSG Philippines that Coach Day is officially out of RSG. And where is he gonna be going? It's gonna be to Indo, to Evos Indonesia. So, ang dami na rin Pinoy. So, uh, we actually started with like Baloy, like the OG. Onic Philippines in Indonesia and now there's gonna be a whole lot more Filipinos in Indonesia. Feel ko nga MPL 2.0. MPL Philippines 2.0 yung MPL Indonesia. But you know, jokes aside, um, I like this because maganda yung combination. Like uh, in previous episodes, I talked about like the good combinations to get if you are an org owner is a jungler and a gold laner. Pero maganda rin yung combination ng coach and the gold laner because come on, gold laner yung nagdadala yung coach yung brains ng isang team. So coach Teo actually, if you guys watch the roster reveal of Evo, sabi niya, marami naman daw offers but you know, um, I think for him, uh, sabi niya, no choice daw or maybe perhaps like he heard that Evo's is a good org or like the management is good that's why he decided to sign with them I think it's uh, already a feat kasi para sa Evos uh, Theo was with RSG when they won MPLI so malaking bagay rin talaga yung coach sa isang team apart from you know getting junglers getting XP laners getting mid laners in your team malaking factor yung brains behind the draft behind the game so apart from Evos we also have um, a lot of news in MPL ID there's gonna be a lot of Pinoy players like what I mentioned and and I confirmed I think this was also teased in the previous episode of Patch Notes na yeah tatlo tatlo pero um that's coach Bren by the way of AP Bren uh he's gonna be in RRQ so um confirmed na to uh, it was in the roster reveal of RRQ Indonesia <laughs> clarifying that it's Indonesia not the Philippines and they're gonna be having Irad and Busco. I think yung ano lang yung comment ko lang dito or my opinion about this is that 
Hmm, I'm not so sure about the synergy of these two because I haven't seen them, right? I, maybe I have to check out their streams. I'm not so sure about their synergy. It's good to have this kind of combination as well. Like, may mga ibang teams na kumukuha nito. Isa dyan a Team SMG from Malaysia last season. They got Saksa and Miko in their team. And it was a really good synergy since the jungler is the one farming for the team and the roamer is the one kind of giving vision to the jungler. So, magandang combination din yan apart from the gold jungler combination that teams usually get. So, this has already been confirmed. So, expect to see a lot of Pinoy's in MPL Indonesia. So, abangan nyo next season for uh, MPL ID. And apart from that, you know, big tanong ng matao ay, may matitira pa bang mga players dito sa Pilipinas? And my answer is always gonna be yes for season 13. We're gonna be having a lot of platforms, especially for the amateur teams. Uh, knowing that the season, season players are going to be in other regions, playing for Cambodia, Indonesia, or whatnot. I think this gives a good platform for like the smaller players, the amateur players who wants to be in MPL Philippines. Um, you know, with them playing in other regions, this just gives more opportunity for them to play in either MPL Philippines or MDL Philippines. But season 30 is going to be exciting for me because para sa akin, ah, para sa akin. And I already know some information out there that I can't really disclose just yet, but I think it's gonna be exciting knowing that some of the biggest names in the MLBB esports is gonna be coming back. So abang na mga roster reveals that will be coming up real soon. And I think I'm looking forward to the roster, especially of TNC and Onyx, knowing that those are the rumors that are currently ongoing. Ako, I'm looking forward to see them at least for TNC yeah, go back into the playoffs and even Onyx Philippines even reach further. Because last time Onyx Philippines was in the players or even got a really good spot was back when Sila Coach Yeb and Kyrie were still here in the Philippines. So yeah, season 13, I think we might just see some new faces from the amateur scene. Ako, for me, yun yung isa sa mga pinaka overlooked na resources, especially here in the Philippines that, you know, um, amateur players aren't given that much platform. Before it was only Juicy Legends, but now I'm so happy that there's MDL Philippines that is at least giving these amateur players a little bit more exposure. So yeah, wait for the announcements for our rosters that will be coming up real soon because season 13 is about to come up. So if you guys have any predictions for the rosters or if you guys are looking forward to any particular roster, comment it down below in the comment section. And yeah, we did talk about that in the previous episode of Patch Notes. So yeah, just check them out. Yung mga roster possibilities, mga roster rumors for MPL Philippines Season 13. That's it for today's episode of Patch Notes with Burger Kim. Hope to be Patch with more in the next episode. And this is powered by the fastest mobile network in the Philippines. It's smart. Quick shout out to Black Box, Artsmith Studios, and Studio Rutherwood. Don't forget to follow Tier 1 Studios as well on YouTube for the latest gaming and tech content. Don't forget to follow me as well at Burger Kim Cast on all of my socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. See you guys in the next episode of Patch Notes with Burger Kim.